going to the four corners of the world with the hope that through this music we may unite the people of all race, all class, all color, all creed, and all religion. In other words, uniting the world through music, there's no segregation here today. Somebody ought to give God the glory. Growing up as a child in Jamaica, I had mentors. I had people, there were people like Marie Goth, and there was people, or a gentleman, that I utterly and utmost respect, and his name was Tommy. Amen. Come on. Tommy, welcome to Caribbean TV. It's good to be here, Sharon. It's nice, and it's good that um, you are around so long. Because <laughs> are you trying to tell folks how no, long No, no, no. <laughs> Maybe I'm just trying to tell them how long I've been around. Because it seems as if when I was a legend, you were a child. Yes. Well, that's wonderful. Yes, and one of the person that I look up to, one of the persons li living in Jamaica as a child, um, I often just look at you and say, that, that's what I want to do. I thank God for my ability to, st to be doing it now and to have you with me talking. There is so much I want to talk to you about. First, I understand that you are now a Christian. Not just a Christian, but a born again Christian. A born again. Is there a denomination that you're connected to or anything of that sort? Basically, I'm connected in Jamaica to um, it's non denominational. It's non denominational. Church, church on the Rock in Jamaica. I see. Yeah. Again, going back to Jamaica as a child, Tommy, I remember seeing you on stage, whether it was Reggae Sun Splash, the largest st reggae stage all over the world. Mm -hmm. What changed now you're a Christian? What's different now? What's different now is that, you know, while out there in the, in the reggae world, it was about me. Now it's not about me anymore. Mm -hmm. It's really about Lord Jesus Christ and what he's done in our life and what he means to us. Uh -huh. We seem to, when we are in what you call the secular world, is to yes. focus on yourself, mm -hmm. to build yourself to see how important you are. Mm -hmm. But now it's not about me, it's not about Tommy Cowan, but it's about the King of Kings, the laws of laws and the conquering line of a tribe of Judah. I see. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Tommy, growing up again, there was the idea of Rastafarians. Right. And the connection of the Nyapingi Church and the Ethiopian Orthodox and all these other church. And explain to my audience, now that you are a Christian, first of all, the difference. Yes. And how does that connect, or where is the misunderstanding between these two religions? Well, well, let me tell you a little of my history. Is that, you know, I grew up in the, my father uh -huh. was a Methodist minister in Jamaica. Wow. I grew up in a Christian home. So you grew home, up in a... A Christian home. I then left my, my parents' home in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. Uh -huh. I went to Kingston. Okay. Now, while in Kingston, you're growing up <laughs> and, you know, becoming a teenager. Yes. And I, I was very close to what's called the Maxfield Park that had a lot of singers, people like Jackie Edwards, Bob Andy, we yes, call Keith I, Anderson, yes. John Holt, Wilfred Jackie Edwards, and oh. others. In the evenings, we would gather, and it was during the time when we would say reasoning yes, would go on. Yes, I'm familiar. Okay. And um, those days we would reason about black power. Mm -hmm. Eldridge Cleaver, Stokely Carmichael, yes. Rock Brown, you know, Martin Luther <laughs> King. King. Yes. You know, and we, we, we reasoned even through to the Bible. And even through to the Bible where we thought, well, King James version of the Bible must have been written for the convenience of the white man mm -hmm. and so forth. And while we were gone, we reasoned about Haile Selassie, that here is this man out of Ethiopia. Uh -huh. He's of the line of David. Right. Yeah. And um, he was crowned king of kings, laws of laws, conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Jude. uh -huh. which the Bible itself says, when Christ come again, yes. he shall come as... Through that this, line. Through, through that David line and yes. everything lined up. Right. However, so I was happy. So I started in my research on Rasta. Uh-huh. And one thing attracted me is that brothers would say, Rasta can't die, I never want to die. <laughs> so, as we searched yes. and searched, we placed it in our hearts, before even our research is finished, that this man is Christ returned. I see. However, I decided then I would start to really 
start to seek out what he himself was saying. Right. And this is where the confusion came, came in, in for right, me. Right. Because each time that I would seek for him, he yes. kept speaking about Christ. Uh -huh. There's so many things. If he's going to war, he prays. Each morning he gets up, he prays. There are times when he was at war, actually losing the war, and he, he expressed his faith in God in so much as a God, you take this from me. This is bigger than me. And he won the war. And so I came to realize, then I got attached to the 12 tribes of 12 Israel, tribe? yes. who was preaching that, okay, when you go to a 12 tribe meeting, they would say, we greet you in, an, our Lord and Savior, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who has this day revealed himself in the personality of his Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie. So we realized then that, okay, there was a link here. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, I used to work with Bob Marley. I used to be the MC for Bob right, Marley. I show, know those days. And toured with Africa, Europe, United States, and Correct. so forth. And, um, and so we got even more um, closer to the, the family mm -hmm. of, of Haile Selassie, who I never see. saw him as a Christ, uh -huh. you know, but as because a great Christian don't, king. Actually. These people don't see right. it the way that we in Jamaica do. Right. And then I got attached to some of the words of Bob, which says, give us the teachings of his majesty, for we do not want the devil's philosophy. And what teachings? And that is why earlier on, I showed you there's a book that's called it Testimonies. We want to talk about the book. If you don't mind, let's, let's get the book up here. For those of you in the audience who would like to go out and purchase the book, it's the testimony of his, of his Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie. Talk some more about it, if you will, because earlier on we happened to uh, look at the book and saw some uh, interesting, interesting things. things. Go ahead and share with our audience, if you don't mind, some of the things that you shared with me earlier on today. Right. Why I share these things with you was, one, mm -hmm. because 